morning, YouTube. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night to whenever you are watching. It's Alex Fantasy here, back again, bringing you another episode here of our Let's Play of MLB The Show 2020 for the PlayStation 4. In our last video, well, we were able to uh, pick up the victory. Uh, oh, not victory. Uh, we were able to get up here to uh, the trade deadline as we made uh, just one minor move. Well, not really a minor move, but we brought in a catcher, Vern Vickers. He's going to be annoyed that he's on the bench because he wants to play every day here. I don't think I've got him in a contract situation. Oh, I do. He wants to be a star, and he'd absolutely hate playing platoon. But I could give him a three-year deal and give him a lot of money. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What, what kind of contract is he looking for? 1.5. Okay, so he's actually happy with that, but I would have to make you platoon with those stats. I don't know. Three-year deal. Give him a little bit more money. Let's see here. I don't know if that'll do the trick. Because he's going to be a little annoyed. Yeah, he's... Okay, so that's not bad. I mean, the expectation is that he'd be playing platoon, but he's on the bench. So that's not terrible. So if I just get him into the lineup or whatever at least once, it would be fine. Geraldo wants to be a star, but he's only playing every day, so he'd be even more pissed if he did that. But I don't care. I mean, I want Vern Vickers to play. So let's get you against lefties. Yeah. So Geraldo, you're out. Vern Vickers is in. Uh, you go and play DH, while Gabe Kruger goes to first, and, Gabe, and Vladimir Guerrero goes to third. Okay. So we got two catchers now playing or whatever there. I'm going to have to change up where I've got some of these guys here. Uh, let's see here. Let's raise Jaeger and Vern Vickers up. Goriel 32. Teoscar 33. Yeah. So there. I think that's actually probably the best thing that I can go with. So Vern, you will get to play against lefties. And then, uh, unfortunately, that's all you're going to be able to play. So let's take a look at the morale here. I'm going to have a few guys who are going to be pissed at me. Yeah, just Geraldo. That's fine. So, that's not bad. You're still playing. You're not going to get as much playing time or whatever, but I do want Vickers or whatever. And, and you know what? If we start going on a losing streak, then hey, you know, maybe or whatever, we switch things back. Um, we've actually retaken over first place over the Astros. I don't know how. I mean, just because our, well, our speed is a lot better, obviously. That's a big thing there. So, let's do this. Let's get going here. <laughs> Yes, Gavin, I know. I've already got my contracts on again. I don't think Chris Sale will be coming back. Again, our goal here is to win the World Series. I th Even if we did, if we win the World Series, I feel like it would be a great way to end it, our career off. Because, I mean, I was talking or whatever that if I don't win it, I'd retire. But now I'm thinking maybe or whatever, I should just retire pretty much as the GM right after this season if we win. Because that would be a three championships in seven years would be a pretty awesome, you know, thing to do. So, <sighs> I don't know. Lots of decisions still. A lot of time to do it. So, let's get up to our September call-ups here as we're now into the month of August. You know, it's going to be kind of a quick kind of month or, or a quick kind of video here, I think. You know, unless we get something going here, we might even be able to do part of the playoffs, but I don't know. I don't want to do that. I usually like to separate those videos, so... Nice, another walk. Oh, I could have jumped into that one. I had a chance at home or whatever, a walk-off win. Wow, another good month here with lots of victories here. Seems like our team really has come together or whatever in terms of, uh, you know, winning at the right time and just making sure that we are the best team in the league. So, um, Montoya's got two home runs. Hey, we won it. Uh, double A guy, yeah, just keep him on the 60-day. Uh uh, Vern Eckers needs a triple for the cycle. And uh, we still won one to nothing. All right, so that brings us up to the call-ups. All right. Not bad, not bad. Let's take a look and see how well the uh, team has been doing. Has Vern hit a home run yet? Yeah, he's hit two. Nice, nice job, bud. You're in the platoon position. You're a happy little duck. 
you're not going to play as many games or whatever this season, but hey, you know what? I mean, I pretty much just brought you in to be that extra catcher. I mean, look at that blocking, 99. You know, his durability is a little low, so, you know, I guess the DH position is pretty much perfect for you, so... Uh, Miguel Geraldo or whatever has uh, he's not he's kind of unhappy or whatever so you know what I think I think you know Vern I got you to do that but I'm gonna let Geraldo play the rest of the year because you know I don't want to you know he's 89 overall and I don't think or whatever that would be you know good for him so there there let's do that let's do that yeah there you go all right. So that's all right, Vern. You you came in, you played some games for us here, and when I, I'm very happy. But like I said, I definitely still want to keep what we had at least going into the playoffs. So uh, we got to do a call up, don't we? Don't we? Don't we? Don't we? Yeah. Okay. So who do we call up? Who are our highest ranked AAA guys? Pitcher, closer. Uh, wow, it's just pitchers. Uh, um. Let's see here. I mean, our double A AA and triple A teams are pretty much abysmal, so it honestly doesn't really matter who we're going to call up. So let's see here. We're going to have to decide. Do, 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 do. Consider adding to the roster. So, yeah, those three guys are the only ones they would consider doing. So uh, Leo Barra would come up or whatever and just kind of play on the bullpen here. So we'll go ahead and give him that. Uh, do, 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 do. And then Johnny Garblo here would also get that. And then I'd have to sign a starting pitcher and an extra closing pitcher here. Don't, let's see, is there anybody or whatever here who would fit that uh, trend here? Juan Ken. And then a closer. Uh, let's see, Greg Sexton. Yeah, we'll give you the contract there. And now I go to my starting pitchers here. One, two, three, four. Uh, Greg Eanes will get called up to the AAA. One, two, yeah. And then, oh, uh, there we go. Okay. And then uh, Sexton goes down to the double A, And then I have to call up a AAA Relief pitcher, that will be Mr. Parkinson. All right, enjoy the AAA for another year, or for that there, and I'll just let them auto-fix the stuff. Bam! Auto-fix all. There we go. And we'll bring us to the last game here of the season, and hopefully, you know, have a little bit of... Ooh, look at all those home games. Yeah, I was going to say the Bisons and the Fisher Cats have a terrible seasons. So... Arado already has two home runs. Nice. We won that one. Very good. Two home runs already. Well, the one-run lead to protect with Estevez on the mound. Well done. Uh, McGraw's already got two home runs. All right. Make it three. And... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. We lose Mike Sororka for the rest of the season. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. With a 110-win season, your Toronto Blue Jays are absolutely fucked. We just lost our Cy Young winning pitcher. There's no way he doesn't win the Cy Young with that kind of record, right? Unbelievable. Our chances of winning the World Series of might have just fallen to the wayside. How? How in the... Oh, okay, well. Wait. What? Just because he's injured, he's not considered in the freaking... What? That's so dumb. That is so freaking dumb. Wow. Rookie of the year, Ryan Ray. He's a rookie? Well, I guess so, man. Wow. All right. We might have a rookie of the year winner here. Um, but my God, we have just lost Mike Sororka. And that means we're going to have to rely on a four-man pitching uh, roster for the rest of the season. And in the playoffs. It's going to kill us. Um, I guess we'll just have to simulate through this. Auto-fix rotation. You have Sony to act. Uh, Auto-fix. 
regular season is coming to an end, who do they call up? It doesn't really matter because it goes back to 26 the next day. So uh, we're at the end of the season here. I hate the fact that Sororka here is not going to win the Cy Young, and neither is Ryan Reigns for some reason. Both of them had wins. Rookie of the year is Ryan Reigns, and Bobby Witt won a gold glove. So Kruger came so – just because he has more ribbies, he's the most valuable player? Bullshit. Bullshit. If anybody, it should have been him. But, damn, the Ath uh, Oakland Athletics had some two good guys. Alex Killeroff, oh, my God. What a breakout season for him at 28. Seems like 28 is like the breakout year for some of these guys. 44 home runs. Yeah, that's bullshit. Chris Sale, though, was in on it for uh, Cy Young winner. He's played with four different teams in the last four years. Boston, St. Louis, Houston. But this is the year that he came back and had his best season since 2021. His third season, fourth season with 17 wins, fifth season with more than 17 wins. That's bull. Batting title, Jaeger was there, though, with the average. Uh, 51 saves for, wow, really? And again, just because of, I, I hate how they do it, but still, Ryan Reigns, the fact that he was not considered for Cy Young is beyond me. So... Uh, let's see, though, uh, for league notifications. Eddie Montoya led with stolen base with 30. He also had the most hits with 209, where Sororka had the best ERA, best winning percentage, best winning. Or he, uh, the fact that he got injured and lost this is bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Sororka was the best pitcher in the entire league, but the fact that he was he's on the injured reserve list made him the, like if i had kept him not on the end but put him active would he have won it like that's bullshit that's his, is that his most wins yeah his most wins since 2022 his second most wins in his career and he loses his least amount of losses since 2019 and i don't count 2018 because he only played a few games but come on sororka was robbed absolutely robbed of the cy young so Let's take a look, though, and see who made the playoffs and who didn't. No team in our division other than us finished with a record over 50, uh, 500. That's crazy. The Yankees had over 100 losses probably for the first time in their freaking existence. You know, probably not, but maybe. But damn, look at that. 288 batting average, 494 slugging, on-base percentage, 358. Fielding was 389, and our overall ERA was 360. The only team in our division with that. Uh, the Twins had an amazing pitching, 3.54 ERA. Wow, man, that's crazy. Look at this, man. Look at this. The 10th-ranked Royals, not even close. The Indians are going to get in on a wild card, and they're going to play with the Athletics in the wild card game. Astros pulled ahead there. So they're going to be another team we're going to have to watch out for. Great. Just effing great. Or do we play them in the first round? Oh, my God, that'd be terrible. Uh, I, we, actually, it might honestly happen. I don't know yet. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. The Phillies and the Braves make it in while the sixth-ranked Nationals come nowhere close. Oh, my God. What a game this is. The third-ranked Pirates with pitching in contact. Wow, we. Jesus Murphy, man. I don't know how the hell they do it. The Cubbies don't get in. The Giants don't get in. The Dodgers... Wow, what a year for the Dodgers with those kind of stats. Jesus Murphy. I mean, I'm guessing that's like, I don't know, that's just that's just bonkers to me. Um, so it'll be the Braves and the Rockies battling out. The Giants were three games out. Diamondbacks were four games out. Five games out were the White Sox and the Royals for the wild card. So there was definitely some distance between the teams and stuff like that. So... Um, let's take a look at how we're going to do that. I guess Thad Ward is going to have to be our fifth guy here. And he's not a terrible guy. Like, he's going to be in the rotation. Let's go ahead here and sort who is going to be our starting guys here. Uh, Ryan Reyes will be there. Jordan Balazoic is down trending, which I just don't know why. 91 overall. 91 overall. Chris Sale. 76 overall. Yeah, that Ward will actually get a chance to play most days as a pitcher here. That's going to be crazy. So, 
I don't think I'll be able to bring anybody else up because I didn't call anybody else up uh, throughout the season. So, but I'm okay with that. Uh, that is what it's going to look like. Let's at least move a couple of days in to see who is going to be playing who. So we actually don't play. We will play the winner of the wild card. Houston has to play Minnesota. So that's actually kind of a relief. We do play Cleveland as Cleveland knocks out Oakland. That is kind of a surprise. I was thinking Oakland would be it with all those guys or whatever. Atlanta knocked out Colorado. That's a surprise too. So there it is. There is the playoff bracket for year number seven. Toronto takes on Cleveland in the ALDS. Houston takes on Minnesota. All these teams have all been here before. For sure. Pittsburgh is a surprise, though, in the NL. There, I think they're a first time that we've seen them in the uh, playoffs. So that's kind of a shock. Hopefully, they will do well on their side. Uh, again, let's go ahead and take a look at our guys here and see how everyone ended up. 18 and 6 was Ryan Reyes. Not bad season there. 13 and 8 for uh, Pearson. He hasn't, he's been kind of, uh, you know, stuck in, you know, kind of a gear there. His ERA was much better improved. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Jordan Balazoic had a decent year. 17 wins. His ERA was a little higher than normal than I'd like, so hopefully that can improve. Uh, Thad Ward on the back end. Not a bad year for the young man from Florida. Chris Sale or whatever had a Cy Young uh, winning season in any other year. Uh, you know, I mean, he had a, you know, he's definitely top three, but again, Soroka is pretty much the de facto Cy Young winner because of, but the injury screwed us. So, uh, D'Amico Castillo down trending at 85, wanting to be the closer, seven and six, 13 holds, not bad. Rowan Wick, uh, he is actually down trending. Well, he's actually 78 overall. What a drop for this guy. He honestly could be on the way out next season because I just can't see us keeping him for another season with those kind of stats. Um, you know, a good. He had five wins though, but his ERA is what's killing me. So, uh, let's see here. Carlos Castillo. You know, he had an okay season. His ERA was 3.50 though. I was hoping that'd be a little lower. Dylan Frollo. It didn't play as much or whatever as I would like or whatever. Again, another season where he'd barely played 24 games, but his ERA was fantastic. So, um, 39 saves for Mr. Carlo Rivera. It looks like he just didn't have as many opportunities. He did blow more games than normal, though. Well, not really normal. 6, 5, and 5. But, again, ERA needs to go down. 393. So, whew. let's take a look at the lineup and see how well everybody did throughout the season. Bobby Witt, 16 home runs. That is a career high for him. He batted 236. That has to improve for sure next season. Uh, Eddie Montoya. 155, the most games he's played. 27 home runs. Another great year. The most he's ever had. 315 batting average. Vladdy Guerrero finally eclipsed the 30 home run mark. That is great. 298 batting average. A great year for him. He just didn't play as many, all the games again. You know, I, I mean, his durability is 94. He should be playing every day. Uh, Gabe Kruger, unfortunately, on the downtrend at 31. Um... You know, uh, three. He had 40 home runs though, so he had a great rebound year from last year. I think the I think he had he was injured or whatever. So nice, nice that he was able to continue that. Uh, 27 home runs for uh, Tay Oscar, pretty much matching his season from before. So I'm okay with that. Uh, Todd Yeager, 28 again, another another breakout year for another one of our guys or whatever here. Uh, Lourdes Goriel, uh, 100 ribbies, uh, only 28 home runs, but that's his most RBI that he's ever had. So he was clutch when we needed him. Well done, sir. Your clutch or whatever is 83, so he's really driving in those runs. Our power, though, went down 10 against lefties. Ouchie wawas. Um, Corbin Carroll, 22 home runs, another breakout season for one of our guys here. Well done. Miguel Geraldo played 134 games, 18 home runs, another breakout year for him. Vern Vickers uh, came in uh, after we acquired him from Detroit. He had an okay season. Manny Alfonso. Uh, hope that was just not what we were hoping from him. Only 167. But he did bat seven home runs. So not bad. Grant McCaw, seven home runs, 18 ribbies, 308 batting average. He could be somebody who could honestly get a chance or whatever to play uh, at full time one day. Uh, 37 games for Dalton Pompey. His first season or whatever since 2018. So 
six years he has wallowed in the minors, but then he came in and did, you know, exactly kind of what we needed him to do in that position. Eric K only played uh, eight games or whatever, but, you know, it was worth it. Uh, Frank Diaz, 22 games, 275. Loving that. So, you know what? We got ourselves a pretty good crew of guys here who are going to be ready to go for the playoffs and stuff like that. So, we'll hopefully, uh, you know, see a little bit more from uh, some of them. Uh, uh, actually, you know, let's take a look actually at our prospects here and the other positions in here and see how well uh, they are coming up. Uh, can I add him to the playoff roster? Only players on the active are injured as of September who are eligible for the posting roster or are placing, unless they are placing an injured player. Okay, so that's fine. Can't believe Soraka is out. I can't believe it. Season ending injury. Yeah, minus 20. Ouchie freaking Wawas. So six months, six months plus. So it's October now. October. November, December, January, February, all. So he'll come back exactly in time for he will. He'll miss all of spring training pretty much, but you know that's pretty much all we can do. So anyway, we have made it here to the playoffs. Our team is all set. Our lineup. You know, I don't think we need to make any kind of adjustment and stuff like that. We have lots of guys here who can hit. We'll take a look at the Cleveland Indians in our next video and see where we go. Is this the final year? Do we go to the championship, win it, and retire? Do we get eliminated early and retire? Do we go to the World Series and lose and maybe justify another season? We'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Alex Anderson, reminding you all to like, share, and comment on this video. You can subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you.